Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we will be creating a texture to make a spray or aerosol or sort of spray paint effect. Um, the techniques I'm using was adapted from someone else's tutorial. Um, they were creating a jet engine. Their name is Marcel Deneuve. I will leave a link in the description to their channel. So please be sure to check them out. Before we get started, let's just make sure that our node wrangler is enabled. So let's go to edit, preferences, and go to add-ons, search for node, and then make sure node wrangler is enabled. We won't be using the default cube, and we will not be using the lamp. I'm going to go to front view, I'm going to create a cylinder, shift A, under mesh select cylinder let's rotate this cylinder on the y-axis press R Y 9 0 on the numpad and click to confirm then I'm going to scale it on the X so I'm going to press S X and drag my mouse and that'll do then I'm going to go into edit mode by pressing tab and I'm going to switch to face selection so I can select faces there then I'm going to select this face and press X to delete it I'm going to select this face press X and delete it and go back to front view then I'm going to switch to vertex select mode and I'm going to go to wireframe view I'm going to select the vertices on one end, I'm going to press S to scale and just scale them down quite a bit. And go back into object mode and to solid view. This is going to be our shape or the shape of our spray. You can always adjust it a little bit later. Um, for now let's switch to our shading tab. I'm not going to need these two screens on the side, so I'm going to close them. So, I'm going to select my shape. I'm going to select new under the materials tab. We'll have a new material. Let's rename this to spray one. And we can keep these default nodes. Then we're going to need a noise texture. So we're going to say shift A, texture, and noise texture. With the texture selected I'm going to press Control T that'll bring up the mapping node and texture coordinate. I'm going to change the texture coordinate from generated to UV and then I'm going to press Shift A and come to Converter and select Color Ramp. I'm going to plug the factor of the noise texture into the factor of the color ramp and the color of the color ramp into the base color of the principal shader. Now maybe you would have noticed that some darker spots appeared. Uh, to get it a bit more intense we can play with these sliders. That's sort of what we want but we want it much much more refined so I'm increasing the scale on the noise texture itself and on the scale of the mapping node oh, not that one I'm changing the value of the X let me see and the Y. Also stretching it out quite a bit like that. And that is effectively going to be our spray but we'll need to add a few more things to make it a little bit more believable. So Essentially all the dark bits are going to become transparent and then only the white 
bits are going to be visible, the white lines. But that cuts off at the edges of our shape and we don't want such an abrupt cutoff. So we're going to add another texture to sort of soften the edges, or at least one edge. To do that, we're going to need another texture and now we'll use a gradient texture. So I'll press Shift A, go to texture and select gradient texture. I'll press Control T again and I will add a another color ramp and I'll plug the factor I mean the color of the gradient texture into the color ramp. So I'm going to select the color ramp and control shift and click so it's going to just plug that into the material output so that we can see where our gradient is sitting. I'm going to change the gradient coordinate from generate to object. And rotate it 90 on the Y axis using the mapping node. So I think this might swap around, but basically this is going to create our sort of softer edge. Now, the next thing we're going to need is a mix shader. So I'm going to disconnect that color ramp. I'm going to press Shift A under shader, get a mix shader, press Shift A again and get a transparent shader. I'm going to plug this principal BSDF into the top slot, not the top one, the first shader on the mix shader, transparent on the second one, and then our color ramp color is coming into the factor of our mix shader and then our mix shader is going into our material output so now it doesn't really look very good that looks really odd and to fix this to get the result we want we need to add a bit of transparency so we're coming back to this color ramp we are selecting the black uh, slider and I'm just going to put this alpha to zero then I'm going to plug the alpha of the color ramp into the alpha of the principal shader it's not going to show any difference yet because we also have to activate the alpha on the blend mode so we'll come to our material settings in our properties tab and under blend mode we will select Alpha Blend. And there, that's almost there. But as I thought, these two colors are the wrong way around, so the softer edge is appearing on the other end. So I'm just going to switch the sliders around. And then you can see, instead of it getting cut off, it sort of fades out okay so we have our first spray texture and shape we're going to need a second texture and shape to complete our look so select your first texture let's organize a little bit I'm going to rename this spray one in my outliner and I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to rename this as Spray 2. I'm going to select both shapes and move it to a new collection. In the outliner, I will select Spray 2 and remove the existing material from that shape. And I'm going to go into Edit Mode, add a loop cut by pressing Control R, slide that up to about here. Go into wireframe view, and now I'm going to delete the vertices on this end. So I'm in wireframe view, select them all, 
and delete. And it doesn't look like it worked, but that's just because our first spray is still visible. So I'm just going to hide that. Then we just have this. And back to solid view. New material, we'll call this spray 2. And this is going to very closely follow a similar format as the first texture. We'll keep the principal shader. We're going to add a texture, but this time we will be adding a Voronoi texture. We'll press Ctrl T to get a mapping and texture coordinate node. We'll use the UV's coordinates and we'll need another color ramp. Shift A, converter, color ramp. Plug the distance into the ramp and plug that into, oh dear, into the base color. Now again, we can't really see what's happening because we need to adjust our slider layers. Here we go. So, for annoy texture needs to be F1 smooth or smooth F1. I want to take the randomness down. The scale like way up. Way, way, way up. little bit of randomness because perfect circles not really gonna work so that's more or less what I want I'm just going to but I want the circles to be white not black Something like that and then I want to tweak them a little bit I don't want it to be that stretched out. So I'll adjust the Y scale on the mapping node. Just so that they're not as stretched. Don't need to be perfect circles. And that's more or less what we're going to need. So now we're going to follow the same pattern of work for this texture we need to soften the edges and we need to make all the black transparent so let's do the edge softening first head softening first so first we are going to need a gradient texture as before texture gradient texture press ctrl T we'll get a mapping node and a texture coordinate node can leave the texture coordinate or generate it. Add a color ramp and plug the gradient into the color ramp. So let's just see where our color ramp is. We'll need to rotate it on the Y and bring that down. So from the previous one, I think the white is where it actually softens. And we need to soften it on both ends this time. So I'm going to add a few more sliders in this color ramp. Make this one white. And one more black. And then we can adjust this so it softens. Like that. Then, same as before, we'll need a mix shader. A transparent shader and we'll plug BSDF to first, transparent into the second, color ramp into the factor, nothing's gonna happen just yet because we still need to set our blend mode, also coming back to this color ramp I'm going to set this to constant, select the black slider and color, set the alpha, and then I'll plug that into the principal 
shaders alpha and then I'll set the blend mode in our material settings to alpha blend and there you go but I think these dots are a little bit too big I'll unhide my first shape so yeah that doesn't work so well for me let's change the scale here like a lot a lot a lot Just a little bit. I think we can adjust these edges as well. this one up just a little bit and then that's the basic result that we're going for with our basic shape our basic textures ready I'm going to leave you with a time-lapse of me creating an aerosol can and adding that to the spray or adding the spray to it um, if you've enjoyed this tutorial um, I can do another part where I bring the spray a little bit more to life with a bit of animation if that's something you'd like to see, drop a comment and let me know down below. Thanks for watching.